Hey everybody, welcome back. We're looking at a project here for the bailout from Benchmade, the 537. One of the newest lines they got going here, pretty sweet. But we got a little addition for these grivery or plastic scales. Make them a little stronger, a little more classy. So let's take our Weeha driver here. Let's get these screws out on the scales. You can see in the background, Rogue Blade Works made some pretty, pretty awesome carbon fiber scales for the bailout. So very nice to get a set of these sent out to me. So shout out to Rogue Blade Works for taking care of this so we can get it out to you guys and see what you think. He's also making some G10 ones, so I'm gonna place an order for those this weekend. But yeah, so we're getting all the body screws out here, looking to see how good these carbon fiber scales will look on here. Now you've seen my other videos, you've seen my Benchmade bug out videos, had a couple of those, a few of those, a little more than half a dozen that put all sorts of aftermarket scales on. So tap out the body screws here. You see those are all out. Take the last one here for the standoff, the barrel spacer. Now one of the things I'm excited for in the future is that pommel being deleted maybe on this carbon fiber one so either like a uh, backspacer or you know uh, another standoff or something like that in its place would be kind of cool so yeah so anyways we'll uh get this pocket clip off the mini deep carry which is awesome they continued that on there got my trusty kpl knife pivot lube you can see in there, you got one last screw that kind of holds that in. So we'll take that out. What do you guys think? Are you excited? Have you guys ordered some? If you have, let me know. Let me know what you ordered, what you got coming. I mean, he's got a bunch of different colors on there. So I'm trying to decide if I should get like a blue or go wild and get orange. So we're going to take the T6 bit out, do the T10 here. Going to take the pivot out. So we'll get the pivot set aside. We'll pop the other side of the pivot out with the bit there. That makes everything fall apart. So we'll get this top scale off. Now let's take a look at these. It's Rogue Blade, Rogue Blade Works carbon fiber. And it's just fantastic. So you can see how they've done, oops, sorry about that. See how they've done all this milling inside really strengthened the outside and anywhere there's a flex point. So you can see kind of down past my thumb there, there's a flex point where that comes in. So it's gotta be a little stronger, a little thicker on these scales, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. So let me know what you think. You like the pattern? I like the smooth. I think the smooth is good. Here's the other side. But the milling out makes them lightweight, much lighter than doing like a G10 or even doing, you know, something heavier, like a titanium or whatnot, but yeah. So we'll take this top scale off, hopefully, <laughs> I'm just kidding. There you go, barrel spacer still attached to that one, so we'll take that off a minute. We'll pull the blade and the access lock mechanism out. You can see it's definitely well lubed up, so ready, ready to go. This is the serrated version of the 537 bell I've been carrying. And you see how this, you know, gravity is all kind of patterned inside to hold up a little bit for strength and durability. What do you think? I, I like the upgrade. I totally do. So you can see the difference a little bit on the patterns inside. Some areas that, you know, had to be, I guess, strengthened just due to the material. But I like these. I've been rocking these on my 535 bug out for the last year on a couple of them and I love it. So we'll get this put in here. We'll drop it in and then get grab one of the screws, the body screws, the scale screws, and we'll just put it in this middle screw hole there. Tighten it down. Now this is a T6 bit, a Torx bit six. And I just use these and tighten them by hand with just the bit. Makes them a little bit easier. That way you can kind of put everything back together. One of the things I also use is uh, like a blue Loctite or the Loctite in the tube. That's the uh, 
to remember what it is. Blue thread locker. It's a Loctite stick. You get it on Amazon. It makes it pretty easy for deployment. Not as messy as the liquid. So we'll use the bit here, just kind of line things up. This is where the access lock is a little bit different for some people. I got the bronze, phosphor bronze washer coming out there, but I got the blade back installed. Everything's lined up pretty good. So we'll get the other scale on. Man, I like this, I really do. So I kind of put that in there as a placeholder, the bit. Use another screw to get this scale body screw on and that kind of basically you know grabs those those steel liners inside the black ones that everything's built into and it kind of just snugs it up to the scales so you can start putting the access lock back together in there so and i know you're thinking man i didn't take the barrel spacer out of the other one but i want to show you guys something first before i do that and you can kind of see it right now but there is a flat side to this pivot so it's like a d-shaped Hopefully you can see it right there, that flat spot. So that's gonna go down towards the access lock and reinstall it. So I use the T10 bit, kind of just, the, I'm using the T6 here, but usually the bigger ones work a little better. I think I need to get like a T20 or T25 or something and use it so it just fits perfectly in there. So if you usually, if you get those little jiggle, that'll you just want to get them in past the first set of scales into the first liner. And once you do that, then you can line up the blade, the washers and all that inside. So yeah, it works pretty good. But I'm excited to show you this without the pommel. So that's the goal here. So I'll show you that in just a second. Just doing one more fitment here. thinking, well, maybe we can get just one more screw in just on the other part of those liners so stuff doesn't keep moving. So we'll put those back in real quick. Now I'm not doing the Loctite on this right now because I am gonna take it apart one more time to show you what it looks like fully installed with the pommel. So I'll do that once I'm done making the video. So yeah, again, the flat side, bottom down. We will line it back up one more time. So you can see in there, just kind of want that perfect lineup. Make sure your flat side goes to the bottom towards the access lock. A little pressure, then use the bit on the top side and it fits right in. So anyways, that inner scale was, or that inner liner was moving a little bit, but yeah. So let's take a look at this. I'll put the other side of the pivot on just so you can see what that looks like and so it doesn't fall apart on me nothing falls out but yeah are you guys liking it so far look at this i will put in this other screw but yeah so you can see right there where the the pommel and the other barrel spacer goes i like it without it i really like the look of it it's gonna be a little bit bigger than a bug out it's gonna have the tonto blade of course i like the serrations Shout out to the serration fans. What do you guys think? So here's a quick weight. You can see 2.07 on that. So fully installed 2.07. So I'm gonna put this barrel spacer back in. It is notched, so it has a flat side top and bottom that matches up with the scales. They're also notched the same way. So it's not gonna spin when you tighten up the screws in there. So we'll put that back together. We'll also look at the pommel piece here. You can see the pommel piece, how it fits in. Just drops right into the scales there. Just gonna, it fits perfect. So it doesn't wiggle around. Good quality on these scales. So shout out to Rogue Blade Works, sending these out. Really like the idea he has going with all scales. So he's been uh, <clears throat> supplying Smoky Mountain Knife works with a bunch of scales as well, so they're becoming more available. He's also doing some stuff back on his Etsy shop as well. So yeah, check him out. Put a link down below. But I'm gonna tighten these up just to show you what it looks like. Then I will tear it back apart and use Loctite, but yeah. 
this is the longer video kind of showing the full tear down and build back. Hopefully you guys like it. In the future, I know I've done one in the past where I kind of did a uh, time lapse, kind of hyper fast video, but it doesn't show the details too well when you get into some of the things. So I know some of the details are important, so that's good. But try not to make the longest video in the world over just putting scales on. Anyways, like I said, if you had a knife in mind, let's say Benchmade related, what would you want to see for scales from Rogue Blade Works or any of the other aftermarket makers? I know a lot of people have been pushing titanium and other things. Um, yeah, so let me know what you want to see. The reason being is I've seen some awesome stuff out there and I know Rogue's been doing some stuff on I saw a Crooked River on one of his things. I haven't had an opportunity to check those out personally, but we'll get the mini deep pocket carry clip back on. Now this one's drilled just for right hand carry. Uh, you can get it for, you know, right, left hand or no clip at all. Uh, the standard Benchmade 3 configuration is cool that they drilled it that way and tap those. So you do have the option of carrying any of the Benchmade clips. You can go with the, uh, you know, widely popular split arrow you go with the standard Benchmade clip, you can go with deep carry, or in this case, which is standard, the mini deep carry. So we'll get this tightened back up by hand. Take a look at it overall, but I'm pretty excited. I love these. Now I will say on the pommel, I don't know if you've been able to see that, but there's a lot of markings on it already. The aluminum, see at the top there? Um, like little scratches and stuff, so discoloration, but that's just from, you know, use over the last you know two weeks and uh carrying it in the pocket because it sticks up above the pocket so carry to work so yeah so i'm pretty excited to see if maybe there'll be like a g10 or a titanium or a carbon fiber backspacer that maybe goes around the back there and kind of deletes that not that the palm was cool and useful but in this situation where you're going to upgrade scales whether it be carbon fiber g10 you want to kind of upgrade that pommel too so just get it out of the way put a nice backspacer in there it'd be great so anyways hope you guys have been good take care